Okay. Uh, we've done the ANOVA, one way ANOVA. Analysis of variance where you compare more than two situations. Okay. So sometimes when you do experiments, you set different uh, conditions. Okay. For example, here they were measuring the mass of birds. In, at four, in four different situations uh, in two different seasons, two different months, okay, November and January. So there is actually two factors here to consider. One is the different months and then another is the different situations. So here uh, you should use a two-way ANOVA or two-factor ANOVA so in Excel, you can do it this way. Is everyone seeing this? We will make a, we'll do a two-way ANOVA. So for you know, this. okay. Next, you just highlight the whole group uh, here. Then data analysis. Two factor ANOVA, your input range, the rows per sample. So there are 10 rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10, n, is, n equals 10 for every situation for every month. Output range here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the result that you will obtain. So this is for November. This is for January. And this is the total. And for the default situations, one, two, three, and four. Here, for sample, sample means the between November and January. Okay, so the p value is less than zero point zero five. That means there is a significant difference between uh, November and January. For column is situation one, two, three, four. So the P is also less than 0 0.05. That means there is a significant difference between the four situations. Okay. Interaction is where, because you have two factors. So the interaction estimates the, whether there is, whether there is any interaction between this factor and this, okay, the P is uh, more than 0 0.05, that means interaction between the two factors. Okay, so that is how uh, how a two-way ANOVA is done in uh, Excel, okay. So for, for pass is a bit more difficult because you have to restructure the, the, the data like this. 
So it has to be done this way, where your one column you divide from November to January. The other column is grouped according to your situations. And then you have your data. So the way you have to tabulate the, the data is different. So, so we'll do it here. So once you've uh, pasted the data into pass, you have to change the type. Uh, group okay this is a group data same goes for this okay so this is a group data according to the first factor and group data for the second factor you can change this uh, as months this one as situation So, ANOVA, a two-way ANOVA, okay, you get the same results, uh, for month, the P is less than 0 0.05, so there's a difference between the months, for the situation also, the P is less than 0 0.05, so there's a difference between the situations. Okay, and for interaction, no, there is no interaction between the two factors. Okay, what uh, makes uh, pass a bit more uh, helpful is it allows you to actually look at the how the data changes according to the factors, and then you can even do a post hoc. So for the factor A. No difference. Uh, you can actually see which of the immediately you can do the two key tests for the different situations. Okay. Okay. You can do the so. The advantage of pass is it gives you a little bit more insight into your data. Okay. But you have, the way you tabulate it, you have to arrange your data properly. So that's how you do a two-way ANOVA.